Hi YouTube, this is Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, this is my morning break. And um, I've already talked about my eyebrows and I applied lip gloss on a previous video when I got to work this morning. Um, what I'm going to use, which I have not used, I don't think, is the Saharan by Juvia's Place. The Saharan palette. Let's see if I can get this in here and just kind of zoom in. That way I don't have to hold it. I don't really have to touch it. Let me see if this is the right palette. Okay, this is actually the blush palette, you know, for your cheeks. But Julia Place um palettes are multi-purpose okay and let me see Il Maquillage this is Il Maquillage and this is shade 14 You know, most people with common sense would have got a brush and did this part. But no, me, I gotta use this applicator, right? <laughs> so, um, it's decision making time. You know, if you haven't made your decision already, don't forget. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I have that. Hmm. Not that I know of. See, that's the good thing about the Lord. Let's see. He'll fight your battles. You know, it's election time, so get out and vote. You know, it's all in his hands. Mm -mm. Okay. So this is number 14. This is bribery. By the crayon case. I don't really clean the top up that much. Now 
and if I wear some foundation, then I'll use the foundation to kind of, you know, like clean things up. This today, this eyebrow is thin, and this eyebrow is fat today. And it's usually the other way around. <laughs> and I don't want to mess with it. And mess it up. Because I got the eyebrows pretty decent. And the one that's the fatter one is going to be hid behind my wig anyway. <laughs> okay. All right, good. So that's that. Now, what we're going to do is, if we can find it, <clears throat> I see my Pierre Louise. It's a cap off or something. Oh, look. This is my mascara. This is MAC. It's a mini mascara. I might use this. I try not to use this when I'm wearing contacts because sometimes that product will fall off, break off, chip off. So I'm looking in my bag and let me see. This is fun. I'm going to get. I'm going to get toast. Okay. Because toast is like the closest to my eye color. For real, for real. Toast. Now, I did it a little backwards because the lighter shade is supposed to be at the bottom. The lighter shade is supposed to be at the bottom. And if I was doing a cut crease, which I'm not, but if I was, that would be messed up. Okay. Just to get it even toned, and I've done this plenty of time before, so I'm pretty sure you all are bored with this look and with this method and this technique. I'm pretty sure that you are, because I would be. But if I was working from home, That would be a different story. Okay, so now I may have to use that concealer again or use the P. Louise because I don't see what I'm looking for. But it's, it's okay. Let me hurry up. Okay, so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and get this, because um, I see what I've been doing wrong. The reason why my my look isn't coming out the way that I want it to come out, but it's been decent. So what I'm going to do is... Abby... It's like this burgundy color, right? Yeah. Abby is like this burgundy, this dark burgundy color. And this, see, right here. And then Neo is more of a burnt orange type color. Let me see, watch it. Or orangey red type color, Neo. And so let me swatch Toby. 
told me it's like a more like a yellow gold. Okay. Colors. So we're gonna go with let me swatch this pink. Zane. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, nope. That's that's too much. And I'll show you Zane. This is Zane. So these are the colors, and you see the names. You can see the names. So what we first do for our crease, we're going to go in with a really, really, really mild transition color, which would be Neo. Okay. And we're just going to go right here. Okay. In the crease. Here come. Yeah. I was pissed off. I was I was sad. I was unhappy.
Okay, now I always say sometimes, sometimes, <clears throat> okay, now Toby is kind of light, but well, I'm going to go in up here a little bit with that Toby. Which I think I kind of messed, sort of messed it up. Because that was the transition color that I used, Neo. Okay, but just to lighten it up. Yeah, just to lighten it up. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I have a Julius Place mix. Uh, a Julius Place single, which is beautiful. And it's glittery. Okay. But I also have similar shades. Right here. This shade. And this shade. But these two shades are more golden. Brown. And these two shades are more. This shade is more green. Let me swatch it for you. See, look at that. See that? And then Zara and Lila. Well, actually, this is more black. This is like a black and gold. So I don't want to use this one. This should have been used Halloween. This is Zaria. That should have been used on Halloween. So I'm going to go in with Lila because it's a nice, soft gold. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush here. And I see my crayon case. I don't really care for this as a um, base, but I'm going to use it anyway because I've already used my concealer. And what I want is I want for now, I want the eyeshadow to Dick. Hey. And it's a, it dries clear, supposedly, but it has like a little orange tint to it. Hey, what can you say when you are in a public place, in a place meant for the public, okay? You can't complain when people come in. You can't. Now, 
I might soften this up just a tad bit more. Don't know if I can. So somebody was saying that on Facebook, I post, I'm always posting some type of picture of me or something, talking about trying something new, doing something different. And yes, I am. You know, I'm a woman of a certain age. I may not look like it, but I am. And sometimes you got to spruce it up. So I'm going to go in with Zaria, that really, really, really um, pigmented gold.
put it right there. So, this is the palette. I use Lily Lila on my lid. I use Zaria under my brow bone. I use Neo as my transition color. I use, what is that? Abby as my crease. I went in with a little bit of Toby. Um... To soften up, to soften things up a little bit. Now, the only thing that I don't have is on is this pink color Zane. Uh, I might could put a little bit of it right here. Okay. Just a little bit of it right here. To help darken up this corner. Okay. Give it a different look. So there, I have used every shade in this blush volume one palette, which I have never done before. I have never used an entire palette. I haven't, I may come back and put on some, on some foundation. I may not, but tell me what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. Um, I love you for watching till the end. This has been a really, 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 really long video. And I'm like more than past my break time. More than past my break time. And I was going to go get me something, something to drink. But nope, can't do that. <laughs> so let me know what y'all think. Of the look and of course I already have on some lipstick I already have that on so no need to put any more I might put just a little bit more gloss on just for the sake of the look for the thumbnail uh -huh. take that picture for the thumbnail
saw it earlier. What I was looking for. Now I don't see it. It was my liner. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this one again, but I won't do it now. Oh, I seen my favorite one earlier and I picked it up and I showed it and I stuck it back in here. And I kept saying because the cap was black, that's why I didn't think that was it. I was going to do a wing liner, you guys, but oh, I see it all the way down here now. This is it. I have to find out how much this is and where I can purchase it. I really like it. I'm have to purchase this. It's a big fat liner by Rockins. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.